This is my profit and loss sheet. I don't know if you can see that number, but that number is $183,390. And this is my profit and loss sheet from 2020, the year the entire world fell apart. The year where I honestly thought coming back from a trip when COVID was hitting the US, I thought my business could potentially crumble and my first full year in business wouldn't be anywhere close to this. This was $183,000 by myself as a solo filmmaker. It was an absolute shock. And then this number down here, probably even more difficult to see, $135,971,000. That's the amount of profit, $135,000. So I had $47,000 in expense for an entire year I had a little bit of contract labor, but I made all of that by myself, pretty much using one camera. And I did that with just this camera right here. Well, not exactly that camera. This is Canon R5. And I had the R at the time. That was again, 2020, the R5 had not released. I can't remember when the R5 released, but I didn't have the R5. I had the e Canon EOS R, same body style as this. So I had this camera, and a Sig the Sigma 18 to 35, because if you use the Canon R, you remember it had a really big crop on 4K. So running the Canon R with a cropped 4K using a lens, that would allow me to basically have that full frame effect. So that was this was kind of my go-to, plus my 24 to 70 that I used on here as well. So I used this 18 to 35 and a 24 to 70, 2.8 for an entire year. Most of that $183,000 was filmmaking. It was making videos for organizations and brands. It was doing interviews for corporate clients and making them videos that they could share internally, but that they could also share externally. And I needed a, a really good hybrid camera. And at the time that was the Canon EOS R, a hybrid camera that could shoot really, really good stills but also could shoot really, really good 4K video with great autofocus, great colors. There were some instances when I was working with some brands where I needed to turn things around really, really quick. And I just used the natural colors. I didn't use C-Log. So it was really nice to just to be able to have that built, in, built into one body. And again, it was great to just have a hybrid camera that I could do both video and photography with. I had a GH5 at the time with me kind of as a B cam, but it, I ended up selling it just because I, I it wasn't my favorite. Yes, it was powerful in some ways, but the EOS R was like my, my workhorse, my beast at the time that could just do beautiful photos and do really good videos at the same time. And the, the GH5 at the time just couldn't do like great photos and it just wasn't my favorite for video as well. I'm sharing these numbers not as a flex. It's, it's not supposed to be a flex video. This is to inspire you that with one camera that was like $2,000, $2,500 at the time, by myself, finding clients, building relationships with people, that I was able to generate revenue of $183,000. And again, to this day, in 2020, that still kind of makes my mind and my brain explode a little bit that during the pandemic, a horrible time for all businesses and organizations, really difficult time just for everybody in general, I was able to still within my first year of full-time business after coming out of my agency job, I was able to have revenue numbers like that. And again, I didn't have fancy gear, but I had the most appropriate gear for me. There's always that term floating around that gear doesn't matter. And normally that's in reference to having a lot of gear or having expensive gear or overthinking your gear. But in reality is gear does matter. Being specific with the gear that you have and knowing the jobs that you're potentially going to get or the jobs that you already have, understanding what is going to be the best gear, the best spend of your money, the gear that's going to help you in those situations most appropriately, the gear that can help you move quicker. That was this camera for me, a camera that I could easily switch into video mode, capture really good videos, but then I could flip it into photo mode and I could capture beautiful photos as well. That's what I needed at the time. I needed a really good hybrid camera that I could take on every shoot with me, be confident in what it was going to deliver and be confident that I could do both video and photo at the same time. 
And that's huge for some clients. It's huge for some clients to be able to say, hey, could you snap a couple photos of what you're also taking videos of? Like, yes, absolutely. And then all of a sudden you can increase your invoice because you're delivering them more value. So having this camera helped me do all the things that I needed to do within my first year of business without breaking the bank. I didn't have to have two cameras or three cameras. I didn't have to have the C70, which I'm shooting on right now, you know, a $6,000 camera. I didn't have to have all these crazy different lenses and setups. So like gear does matter because you need the right gear that's right for you and whatever jobs you're gonna be having. That's why it's important to research. That's why it's important to figure out what kind of niche you're in and what those videos and photos need, and then what kind of gear and equipment you need to be able to deliver the best that you can. That is why gear matters. And these days there's so many incredible camera options. There's so many incredible lighting options. There's so many incredible microphone, tripod. There's so many incredible options at our fingertips. So it's a matter of doing the research, figuring out what is the right piece of gear for the work that you're gonna be doing or the work that you want to do, researching that, maybe renting it and testing it out and seeing it if it actually helps you or if it hinders you, if it allows you to capture what you need to capture, that is where the gear matters. It's not about amassing a lot of gear, it's about getting the right gear that's gonna help you do your job more effectively, more efficiently. And you can have a number like this, a number like $183,000, but more importantly, because you're getting the right gear, you can keep your expenses down and then you can end up with that, a profit of $135,000. That, that is the most important number on that sheet. Looking at all of my expenses and getting down to how much did I actually retain after I build all this out, how much did I actually retain? And I retained in my first year of filmmaking and photography, $135,000. I hope you enjoyed just a little bit of backstory. I hope that inspires you. I hope, I truly hope you are inspired to go out there. And if you're wanting to do this yourself, if you're wanting to do filmmaking and photography, I encourage you to try it. I hope it inspired you to get out there and just put rubber to the road and get it done and, and make your dream a reality.